What's going on today guys welcome back to the channel it's been a minute since i've done a full length video and um basically you know we were on vacation we were busy uh family was in town then it came down with a case of the pandemic and that wasn't too much fun but i'm back and better than ever feeling great and so today i thought we would do a little showcase of one of my guitars this is one that i have not uh, displayed on the channel in quite some time and i really don't know why i like it a lot i just haven't gotten to it it's been sitting in the back and uh had to pull it out and check it out so this is my Charvel DK24 Hardtail. I've also got the uh, two-point trem version of the same guitar. And I've had this for about three years or so. It's a beautiful purple phase is the name of this color. And uh, it does not pick up well on camera for some reason, which is really unfortunate because it's really, really pretty in person. Uh, but on camera, it just seems to look dirty and brown and like all kinds of shitty colors. It's really not. In person, it's great. Uh, it's a two-piece body, alder body, one-piece maple neck, maple fingerboard uh, obviously you've got the quilt maple top which is really pretty and uh, this thing is just a solid well-built guitar uh, not too expensive and I don't believe they offer it in this color um, configuration anymore which is unfortunate because it really is pretty this actually isn't the best example though I've seen of this purple phase I've seen some really nice ones online <laughs> These are not stainless steel frets, and uh, for the price, you wouldn't really expect it. I think I paid about 800 to 850 at the time of purchase. I think they're a little bit more now. And yeah, so the first thing I did was upgrade these pickups. I went with Seymour Duncan's Nazgul Sentient Combo. They sound amazing. I love them. This is in drop C currently, uh, but the strings haven't been changed in probably, I don't know, months, maybe a year. So we're going to do that pretty soon. It's got the beautiful carves on the back, as does my other Charvel. Uh, this hip, or rather this heel joint, is a little bit different than the other one, but it still has kind of a shaved off corner that's been smoothed out, so it's very comfortable. You don't ram your hand into that you know, sharp point there. And this guitar is just great. It's been a lot of fun to play, and I hope you enjoy you know, some of the sound samples I throw up here. Throw up. <laughs> Okay, so originally the dinky body form factor was an innovation from Jackson. Jackson did it first. Uh, Jackson and Chervelle are both owned by Fender. So back in the early 90s, apparently guitarists wanted something that was a little bit more lightweight, a little easier to play, kind of had the high performance feel, was still a super strat, was still a Jackson at the time. And Jackson does offer dinky bodies still to this day. But uh, I get the point of why they made it a little bit smaller. It's extremely comfortable. I have to say that this... Tinky Body is among one of the most comfortable guitars that I own because it's just so lightweight, it's so comfortable, the way it sits on you is just perfect. You know, whether or not you like the look of it, the feel, the sound, all that stuff, that's another question. But as far as the form factor, it's just extremely comfortable and a lot of fun to play in that regard. Now, this Dinky guitar in particular, they no longer make it in this exact specification. Uh, they do offer two derivatives of this though. There is one that's a mahogany with a poplar burl top. It only comes in a desert sand color, which is extremely uh, hideous in my opinion, but you know, to each his own. And then there's a black satin finish 
that is the alder body, same as mine, and the pickups are a little bit different. There's a full shred, but then there's an Alnico 2 Pro in the neck. <laughs> This guitar has a just a plastic nut. It's not a graph tech or bone or anything. It's got Charvel's own branded locking tuners. They work fine. It came with two string trees. Blah, 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 blah. It came with two string trees. I took one off because just having tuning issues, you know, when you bend and it pops out of tune, it just kind of stays sharp. So we had to get rid of that. Um, what else have I done to modify this? Obviously the DiMarzio clip locks that's on all of my guitars. This one's purple to match the guitar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this guitar just, um, it sounds really good. It's very lightweight and it is a dinky body. So if you're not familiar with that moniker, Basically, the DK in the name, it stands for Dinky. Uh, what Charvel did with this particular series was, apparently the body is just like an eighth of an inch smaller proportionally all around. So it's just a smaller body. Thus, it's also a little bit more lightweight. Uh, more lightweight, does that make sense? Weighs less, let's say that. Yeah, so it's super lightweight, comfortable, sounds amazing. Uh, we'll throw some clips in here real quick. You know, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite guitars, but it is a guitar that I really appreciate and really enjoy playing. I just haven't gotten to it in a long time. <laughs> Currently, this guitar is in drop C tuning and uh, it sounds nice. I think it sounds pretty good. Yeah, this guitar is great. Um, I, I wish they still offered this color, you know? It's just really, really pretty. It's nice. But they do still make this guitar and it comes stock with uh, Seymour Duncan's, but not this set. It comes with, uh, I think it's a JB or a full shred, one of those on the bridge. Yeah, I love Charvel's, man. I don't know why I sleep on these. You know, I've got two here and um, I don't know. <laughs> I really can't explain it. I've just been going through a lot of other brands recently, checking out some new stuff, getting more acquainted with brands that I was, you know, previously unfamiliar with. But the Charvels are kind of tried and true. They're just like Fenders, you know. So if you want to check out other versions of this same guitar, uh, like I mentioned here, there's a link down below, and uh, you can check out the DK24s there on the website and see what you think for yourself. That's pretty much it. You can still get this model. You just can't get this color, I'm afraid. That's unfortunate. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya!